Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Many B2B organizations provide goods and services to their customers with the option of paying later, but the process of recovering owed amounts from them is not an easy one. In this scenario, it is important to establish proper credit and collection management protocol to collect receivables right on time. It would help your organization reduce the time, cost, and efforts in manually having to manage past due accounts. 94% of potential customers don't have liquid funds to build and run a business. For them, buying products on credit is a great way to start. But on the other hand, seller companies dealing with a huge receivable balance find it very difficult to track their customers' key credit and collection metrics. In order to solve this complex issue of managing multiple customer aged balances, one can use Power BI reports integrated with the Credit and Collections module of Dynamics 365. So let's dive deep into the nitty gritty of analyzing past due customer accounts by using the Power BI Analytics tool. Let's begin by first understanding how can we manage receivables in Credit and Collections module of Microsoft D365. Managing credit and collections efficiently is a credit manager's fundamental task in order to keep the organization running. Credit and collections module in D365 offers a variety of features to help manage receivables. You can set up and define information to meet the specific needs of your business. Although most customers pay their invoices on time, you must be able to process invoices that are not paid by their due date. Accounts Receivable Collections information is managed in one central view by using the Collections page in Dynamics 365 Finance. Credit and Collections managers can use this central view to manage collections. Next, let's understand what is a Credit and Collections workspace. Customer Credit Workspace has a lot of information that you need. You can also personalize this space to include any other information required by you for the collection process. This workspace can be accessed by selecting Workspaces and then clicking on Customer Credit and Collections tab. A workspace will appear in front of you, which can be customized depending upon activities or lists desired by the user to be listed on their workspace. The next important question that springs up is, do we have analytics in the Customer Credit and Collections workspace? The answer is yes. The Credit and Collections Management Power BI content was created for credit and collections managers and collectors. It provides key credit and collections metrics, such as day's sales outstanding, balance overdue, credit exposure, and customers that are over their credit limit. It uses transactional data and provides aggregate views of credit and collections across all companies. It also provides a breakdown per company, customer group, and customer. Lastly, let's understand what are the benefits of using a Power BI report for credit and collections management in D365. The Power BI report utilizes data from many sources to create interactive, immersive dashboards and reports that provide actionable insights and drive business results. It enables predictive analytics and data visualization it even provides aggregated information and graphical views for better customer account management. With this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you have understood the processes involved in managing accounts receivable credit and collections information using the workspace in Dynamics 365. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.